A picture is a poem without words. We gathered here today to celebrate and honor the late David James Brown. He's left behind wonderful art pieces and we'll be looking at some of his work before his departure. Megan, how are you doing? Very well, thanks. And yourself? I'm doing great. So please tell me, having to organize this event, how is the experience and what makes this exhibition different from all the others? This is a very, very special exhibition. Not only in terms of the art that was produced. David was a visionary. And the themes that he interrogates in this show are poignant. They have been for since man has walked the planet and they will continue to be poignant and relevant for as long as we are here um, so the works themselves are extraordinary they are delicate they are thoughtful and at the same time they are brutal and they're frightening so there's a kind of delicacy that he manages to achieve it's an it's a narrative that existed through most of his work but it's it really comes alive in the show. So working with these actual artworks was really quite a privilege. And it was also different because I'm, I'm putting together a show by an artist who's no longer with us here. So I got to work, I was very privileged to work with his wife, Pippa Scottness, who put this entire show together. She organized the casting of the works, she organized the bases. Um, I was basically her facilitator to make it happen. Um, she came up and assisted with the curation of the room. It was, I feel, enormously privileged to have worked with Pippa and to have worked with these particular pieces. Thank you, very happy to be here. Oh, thank you so much for having us. So please tell me, how did you come up with the concept and what inspired you to showcase uh, David uh, James' um, pieces today? So, so these are the works of my husband, David Brown, who made them during a period of time he, he lived in Berlin. And um, at that time he was really interested in, in the way in which the war affected Berlin and the bombing of Berlin after the war. So many of these works show evidence of that destruction and also of the destruction of the zoo where animals were, were their cages were destroyed, some of them died, some of them were led into the city, including the aquarium. So on this exhibition you'll see uh, works of sea creatures as well as destroyed buildings and, and other things that had to do with that influence. And having said that most of the pieces are inspired by the city of Milan, what is the one that's most significant and um, stands out for you the most? Um, I, think, I think the sea creatures stand out for me because they're so beautiful and obviously, you know, once once an aquarium is bombed, those animals will all die. You know, you can't live outside of water and yet here yeah, they sort of appear triumphant. and she's a freelancing writer. How are you doing, girl? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So as a writer, what stories do you put behind art pieces? 
Um, well, art is really interesting because obviously there's a whole history uh, behind it. Usually uh, when artists work and they kind of conceptualize their work, they're coming from a certain space. So either they are responding to things that have happened before or they're trying to find ways to kind of express themselves in a completely new way. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. So having seen all the pieces in the exhibition, how are you finding the experience so far? Well, uh, I've quite enjoyed uh, these pieces. Yeah. I think for me personally, or you know, when you're looking at artworks, you always like draw to yourself and your background and everything. And uh, they kind of remind me of like uh, the childhood memory of like playing with toy soldiers, you know, the little green. Arts can take you on a whole different imagination. David James Brown's work has definitely moved us. This is Jovic TV. I am No Fulora Pisa. It's goodbye. Forever, stop and fly.